Hello, it's another morning. It's a beautiful morning as well. This morning, I am going to Craven Concretes for them panels for the shed, cow shed. Oliver ordered them and they're ready to collect, so let's go and get them. and then have to go to office again and give this hive his back. So thank you Sam Atkinson for your guide to where to get some panels from. Yeah, Craven Concrete's top sales rep. got three in up to now. Just getting them tight to this side. Yep, done very well. Can't do this one until we uh, the new grinder comes because he effed it. So we need to cut that off. Or else it won't sit flush to this side. So we'll do that when it comes. But yeah, it's looking fabulous. Improvement is key. feed barriers on that we need bale cradle feeder can never have too many of these all sorts in Desmond's quarters <coughs> anything and everything like a feed spot with a roof. That's cool.
feeders, trailers, tankers. Bailers, rakes, what are they? Tip over water troughs, tedders, all sorts. Oh, I think he needs me. Go, loaded. Right, let's get home. And there we have it. Ta-da! Looks far better than it was. They're just quite high. Doesn't matter, it's all right. Looks fine. We got a little uh, thing through the post, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, Mabel's had a bang, haven't you? Yeah. You fell over, didn't you, at yeah. school? So, read it out. It says, Sam at the top there. Yeah. says watch all your videos on YouTube thanks for sharing a daily life on the fan especially thanks for including your children in the vlogs I am sending you this present for one of your children to wear around the fan I bought it for my grandson at NWA and this Northwest H Auctions yeah Northwest Auctions I've never been worn because he grew too quickly hope one of your children can make some use use out of it. I would like just to say to Sam and ad, 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 admire admire just how hard you work. The vlogs are not supposed to be reflect this Ooh, but yeah, stay, be. stay standing to tall Sam. You have a heart of gold. Thanks for Annie Green. Thanks Greenham. from Annie from Hesham. Ooh. Ooh, Wait, it's like a it's a no, it's not. It's, it's in Lancaster. Oh. So this is what she sent because uh, she bought it for her grandchild and uh, he's grown out of it. Wow, that is. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Boiler suit. Oh, hold it up. That just, I guess that's the sun. Oh, look, it's got a tractor on it. Oh, that'll be coming handy, won't it? Dad, Jim. Jim, yeah. Or oh, Nancy. Oh, it might fit you, Lily. Okay. Yeah. Keep you dry and warm. Yeah, if you want. See if it fits. Isn't that kind? We'll definitely get some use out of it. Okay. Fits grand. It fits you. Excellent. And Lily can borrow it too. And then we can give it to Nancy and Jim after you two have finished with it. Yeah. And she also gave us £25. £20 for you four and £5 for Sheila. So I'll put it in your money boxes. What do you say? <laughs> Today is show day. Me and Oliver are off to our local show, Westmoreland County Show. So you can all come along with us and see what we get up to. Let's go! What a beautiful day for it. What? <coughs> I'm wearing wellies like everyone else. <coughs> yeah, loads of people wear wellies. It's, 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 on, it's on a field on the grass. Right, we're heading on in. Oliver's not been for years. Neither have I actually. Right, 84 please, 84. We were tempted to get one of these, weren't we? We saw them at the sheep show last year. Mm. 
Oh my god. Colour coded. K2. Look at the size of this trailer. Look at the size of that. Massive. Have you seen all these colour coded things at the front? What are they? Air brakes. They're all like uh, two foot pusher, two foot back door. Who else? Two foot roller sheet. Oh. There's his job. Do have GPS collars on some of them, so they can see sort of what they're doing mileage wise. Um, so they, they will do up to 50 mile a day. We have literally been here five, ten minutes. It's already food time. Get some goats in. Mm. Look at the size of that for a TV. I'm impressed. Something like that would be handy. Nice little load of tractor. Hello, you alright? Just not that price tag. Oh, 
<laughs> How cute is that? What about getting Jim Bob one of these? Oh, oh no, he'll not be able to touch the pedal, could it? It's all the way over here. Oh, we'll have to look for a smaller one. Hello. Oh, there's all sorts and everything here, isn't there? <laughs> Supporting our local business. Eden Farm Supplies. Hello, oh, you alright? <laughs> my god, look at that trailer. It's huge. Oh my god. Wow. Nice crushes. IAE. So this one's slightly upgraded in the engine and slightly upgraded some of the styling features as well. So a bigger engine? Slightly bigger engine, slightly different gearbox drive in it now. What cc is it then? This is 900cc. Right. Our other one will be Your other one will not be far off no. that, to be fair. I think it is I 900. It's like 870 oh, right. so it's, not it's not much but they just updated the way yeah. the engine works and then they changed the model code to differentiate. Yeah. So it would cost us what to swap? What age is it? Uh, 19. 19. How is it? Same spec as We didn't get it brand new. It's a 20. No, it's bike 19. Bike? bike 69 is bike. Oh, buggy's 69, isn't it? Yeah, 19. Yeah, so oh, 19. yeah. Right. It's got a heater in it. Yeah, yeah it's got a heater, yeah. Got clear cab, it seems this. Yeah. yeah but Just little windows it. like this. Yeah, yeah. So it's still a good cab. What sort of uh, hours and miles is on it, roughly? Um, I'm just filming for YouTube if you don't mind. That's fine. Right. 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 Just don't put any committed prices on this. No, I won't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just wondering what roughly it would be to swap. Roughly. If we were to, up to trade it. And realistically, without seeing yours, without knowing the Yeah, yours obviously. Is worth anywhere between currently at the minute about 8 and about. 13. Sorry guys. Yeah. You know, 13 is absolute pristine, not yeah. a mark on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're talking maybe 12 and a half then. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you think yours is yeah. worth, but there is... And the what minute, are these? Canham, 20? 21 and a half, but Canham are doing a trade-in bonus at the minute on these. So there is about That's another it. There's about another 700 quid to be added on to that. Right, yeah. Because they are good buggies, I must admit. Fantastic. They are really good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can do away with you <laughs> Alright, you, you can replace me with one of these. Yeah. Uh, your tractor would pull it, but it it wouldn't work on our farm, sorry. So you're gonna have to look at the size of it, Oliver. Stand next to him for scale. And you are a big lad, aren't you? <laughs> no, you can't replace me. Well, he physically can, but not on the hill farm we have. What? 
No, you can't replace me. Oh. That's not very nice. The bus lord from where you come from. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, amazing. Oh, beautiful. Oh yeah. Make sure the bales tipped off. Yeah. How the other half live. You love your tackle, don't you? He'll get there one day. TH Horn Limited. <laughs> lift anything heavier though, that load off. Probably not with a bale in it. So we're having just a little feed passage to feed them. Don't know if the shore chopper will get in. Ah, that big one will be too big. Cavirland. This one just propels for us. I know what's in for the side of the job. Ah, that's the cold as well. That's another thing as well. It keeps the beer out the water. Yeah, it doesn't rip the sandwich. So the longer you have it, like basically, the more you have it in the back. The less bite the rotor has, so it's not as, it's not sitting as much to the rotor or to the flywheel, so it's not as aggressive. And the knives are, are doubled up like that as well, so that she's ripping the blade apart better. If you have a single blade, she's more slicing it, so that's where that's ripping it apart. So the knife is on ours, is just a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's great thing. And she's a hard off liner in it as well, so that if you are on, you like it. I haven't, I've never tried one, but from what I can say, the different ways like chickens from over there. See, what we did was when when we're making the bed or like like we went around to people like it says what do you have some people are some people are tea and some people are something else and we says what's the good things what's the bad things yeah. one thing that people says that it's not great on silage another people says that if you do block it how do you unblock it yeah. so that's when we put the system in it that you can manually reverse the flavor yeah so you, so you can actually if you do block it all you do is you put it into neutral mm -hmm. you spin the wheel around like that you take the bar out of here you push it in there and you can winch back the flywheel you put on your PTO, that gets uh, the lump out, and in underneath that you got a five wide V-belt, which basically is engaged in the rotor. So what you do is you press a button to the cap, that engages the rotor, press another button, and that engages the floor and the wheel. So your flywheel is separate from your rotor, and your rotor, of course, is separate from your floor. And then, then he was told that as it was dying to design it, it has to be able to do silage as well. And he put then the knife in it because he used to fix harvesters, which is a bit the same idea yeah. as hanging. Mm. So basically, is your mouth is basically here and the knife is here, but it's a V knife like that. Basically. Yeah, it's in there. If you stood up, you could see kind of kind of light. You could see down into it. But don't. Thought about everything, aren't they? Nah. So that's the idea. We did put a filter on as well. Maybe not as much needed. More for Ireland maybe than over here. The reason for the knife is, is, or the filter, sorry, is, is, is that if you know old track and it's dirt to the right, you know, that's the only reason, you know. Yeah, what I suppose is objective, wouldn't it? Uh, it wouldn't take much, like, it depends how fast you'll put the bail through it, like, or, or like that. The quicker you put the bail, we'd have a lot of people on 60, 70 horsepower, but if you want, if you're doing silage, and you want it to go through faster, you need more. Yeah. You need more, you know. But if you're happy with it, being through in like a minute or in a bit, you know, you know, 60, 70 horsepower would do it. Like. All right. So where the electronic control box is, is like a hand piece there, and you can take, you can unclick it, and you can put on the armrest, and you can work your joystick <laughs> to work your shoot up and down, and also vary the speed of your floor as well. Yeah. So you can. Brilliant. And Irish, they're strongly made, aren't they? Well made. Right, we've what what you, what you, what you, what you, So have you got many motors to sell this week? <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
We've got a chimney off you. Yeah, we've got, we got a really good chimney off you. <laughs> Bill, where's yeah. your stall at? It's Here not we are. there, <laughs> It blew down. <laughs> yeah, it blew down. It blew. And Peter, why aren't you at work? I have been day off. Oh, yeah, glad. He was looking I'll look let him have day off today. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> having a day off, isn't it? Where's Where's Rosie? She's here somewhere. She didn't want to come to see us, did she? I'm not oh. really impressed with you drinking it at 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I feel <laughs> shouting at him. Just walk straight off. <laughs> Oliver, do you want a drink? Go on, let's go to the beer tent for one. Why? <laughs> no, I'm filming. What are you what doing? Are you no, I need to go to Paxton's. My friend's over there. Uh, Oh, I need to go in there before we leave. Look, some nice shirts. Ethnic background, this one. Just, uh. them all. Where are you based, Diane? He'll invite his family up for tea. <laughs> Just stop for a quick chat with Diane. Yeah, take me double chin up. YouTube Tools, tools, tools. Right, I'll leave him while I go in the clothes shop. Yay. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. It's only two metres long. Moon Valley Pods. I think we should get a pod or something at our house. I think folk would love to come and stay in meters, etc. etc. Fifty year warranty. I wonder what that entails. <clears throat> Yeah, Nobby's from Norfolk. Now, Sam, Sam is the Michael Jackson of the sheep girl. Step forward, men walk back. Step forward, men walk back. Now, Google here, he's been watching too much steak flow on YouTube. And he'll sit there and shake his head in time. Now, Lenny and Harry, they went to the last show and they went in the beer tent. <laughs> yeah, they were sat there watching some of the blokes in there. He's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. And Harry, yeah. I'm not saying he's lazy, but yeah, he can't be bothered. So ladies and gents, boys and girls, do you want to see the sheep dance? Here we go, Lenny, Harry, hit it. Here we go. So we're off now, ladies and gents. Lenny started, look, here we go. Nice bit of bad dancing. One foot, we'll go. Here we go, there you go, one foot. That's all it is, one foot. Tom B from Morrison's is your choice. So there you go, you see all these really great examples from that national show from all over the country before you. And then following on the British Simmental, smaller in numbers today on the show field, but Dean Saunders coming down from Ulverston there, producer champion in that lovely young heifer, and a really great example of a dual purpose breed, fit for mill production, great producer of beef, standing on those four wonderful legs. What a great time at the show. Just got in the car, literally, what is it, half five? Oh, I got as many free pens as I could get. We looked at Baylor's, we looked at straw choppers, we looked at everything we needed to look at. Oliver's really enjoyed himself. And we ended up in the beer tent. So, I haven't had any, obviously, I'm driving, but Oliver's, I've left him there, because he's having fun. So, I'm going for kids, going back, and then, uh, well, see if I can get him later. If not, I'm sure he'll make his own way home. He's a big boy. I just want to thank um, Jacob Barton's mother. She gave me these beautiful, beautiful knitted hats. One for each child. 
like that's so kind of her so a shout out to Jacob Barton he does YouTube if you go and uh, follow his channel um, and also Barton Wool I'll put the link I'll put the uh, link in the uh, description she does uh, she makes she spins her own wool from her own sheep and makes hats and things so that's fantastic like that's really really good to do that because you hardly get anything for your wool as it is and she's making something so worthless into something that's worth something so good on her very good but yeah really enjoyed today fantastic lovely weather good catch up with loads of folk and mates type of thing yeah it was really nice i really enjoyed it so we'll try and get out of here in one piece so I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's just the show and whatnot, so it might not be interesting, it, it might be, but we had fun. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like it. If you could subscribe, that'll be fantastic. And I'll see you for the next one. <gasps> Still and I'll give my lambs tomorrow. Well, Friday, but the video will be out in a couple of days. This is an extra one, because I'm not up to date. I'm all to pop with my videos and I hate being behind. So I'm catching up, I'm catching up now. Right, I'll catch you for the next one. Bye.